Hello folks, my name is Mark. This is UCD Videos. How you guys doing? So today we're taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Classics movie collection. That is to say, these are the figures that tie into the 1987 movie, which was something that people were asking for for years and years and years, and there was licensing issues and all this other stuff and it never happened, so now we actually got some figures that look like the, uh, our heroes and villains from the movie, which is pretty cool. So unfortunately, these are most likely going to be the last He-Man figures we see from Super 7. That's bad. Um, probably the end of the Classics line, which is really bad, because in my opinion, the Masters of the Universe Classics is one of the best lines ever. But, you know, what are you gonna do? So, let's take a look at what we got. Um, let's start over here. Over here we have Rebel Leader He-Man. We'll be getting to these one by one. Dark Despot Skeletor, right on. God Skeletor, I guess that's uh, Skeletor in the um, golden outfit at the end of the movie. And Commander Kark. So why don't we start with uh, He-Man first. I love how they put these in these, sh these shipping boxes here. They also send it like the, the shipping container is also in a box. <laughs> So it's like they put a box in a box. And that's because some collectors like to have everything mint and they never open it. So even the shipping container, which is like, I never understood that, but whatever. So let's open this guy up here. Take a look at him. All right. The Rebel Leader He-Man. Looking pretty good. He's got... um can't really see his face when he put it like that, the thing gets in the way. But uh, yeah, pretty good likeness if you can see up in there. You know, kind of looks like Dolph Lundgren. Um, I'm liking the, uh, I'm liking the uh, outfit there. You try to get that glare off of this. It's the, the ring that I'm using here is putting this glare on these things. Anyway, um, looks good. Like the packaging as always, you know. Um, Let's take a look at the back here. We've got our Rebel Leader He-Man and all the different ones in the line. These were other ones from uh, the Filmation line, which I didn't pick up. Rebel Leader He-Man. Am I going to read this? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Cosmic Key. Prototypes. Gildor. Blah, blah, blah. Assassin. Tridentity. Prince Adam. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Okay, you get it. That's cool. Let's put that over there. And let's see. Yeah, stick this in the back. Next we have Dark Despot Skeletor. This is the one I really wanted right here. Because this uh, Skeletor outfit I always thought was really cool. And I was, I was always disappointed that they never made a, an old school figure of this. Damn, check that shit out. That's hardcore. <laughs> very, very nice. Wow, there's some serious detail going there. Well, that that actually looks like Frank Langella there. Wow, like the sculpt is really good. I really like all the little skulls and things, and you know, little rivets and all that stuff up in his in his like outfit. Very very nice. Okay, turn that guy around there. We got a story. Skelter triumphant after finally using the stolen custom key. Blah 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 blah. Army of Orcs, Skeletons, Centurions, and a Robot Knight Battalion. Hmm. Well, it's kind of too bad that we're not going to see, like, the minions and stuff. There were some cool minions in the movie that would have made awesome uh, figures. Okay, let's do God Skeletor next. So this is uh, Skeletor after the end, at the end of the movie when he absorbs the power of Greyskull, right? What do we got? God Skeletor. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice. It's essentially the same outfit but gold and a better looking helmet. You can kind of see his face there. That's cool. <laughs> they get a little cut off by this uh, marquee, but that's alright. Very, very nice. I am most definitely going to be opening this one. Even though this is one that's like going to be worth all the money. I don't know, maybe I'll keep that one in the package. I'm going to open this guy and this guy for sure. And then one more we got is Commander Karg. Alright. 
Greyfarg, for those of you who don't remember, was the stand-in for Trapjaw. Although I don't know why they didn't just use Trapjaw, but whatever. I think the idea, the reason why they didn't use Trapjaw, was because they wanted to actually make new figures, right? So they used this guy Karg, and they only ended up making Blade and Sarod, right? So if you remember, the, the three villains were Blade, Sarod, and Karg. Right, and we got figures for Blade and Sarad, but we didn't get a figure for Karg. Which was like... Which is like, what's the point of like making your new characters if you're not going to make toys of them? Wow, check that out. Very, very cool. So this guy, I'm probably going to keep him in the package because they, I already have Karg already. So it's like, really all it is is a repaint of the one they already released. So you can kind of see the, the same thing going. <laughs> It's basically the exact same figure except in the movie colors, so I'm probably going to keep this guy just for display because I already got my, my comic book colors card. But still, man, these are pretty awesome stuff. These are, these are basically toys that... figures that we've been wanting for like 30 years here. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to do the unthinkable and I'm going to open He-Man. So here it goes, folks, opening him up. Uh, too late. Past the point of no return. <laughs> okay, got the sword. What's he come with here? Here we go. It comes with a sword. Comes with some knives. Comes with some knives. Extra head. Huh, why has he got two heads? That's kind of strange. One of them looks a little bit more like Dolph Lundgren than the other one. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, okay. Let's see. Get that out of there. Alright, let's check out the actual figure. Very nice, very nice. You know, it's got your standard Masters of the uh, Universe classic stuff going. Um, all of this looks really cool. Like, it actually looks like leather. <laughs> And like, look at the detail on that. Look at the detail on, on the legs there. You know, all those little lines and depressions and, you know, like, wow, little sculptures. It got a holster. What else? Cape. Back here, there's, looks like there's, uh, you know, scabbards and stuff for his various weapons. Very cool, very cool. Take a look at the uh, face sculpt. Definitely looks like Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> All right, let's put the, uh, I guess the sword probably goes in, let's see, let's just put a sword here. Very nice. Okay. I always thought, I always wondered why they'd made the sword different in the movie than from the actual toy. And I guess the, the, the toy sword is small. It would only be like that big. So they wanted to have like this big sword. And it kind of looks like it, you know, I guess. It's got that sort of curly cue thing going, so... It's uh, pretty close enough to the toy, I guess, you know. I don't know, as a child, I, I actually saw the movie in the theaters when I was a kid, because, you know, I was, uh, God, 11 when the uh, Masters of the Universe movie came out. And I actually thought it wasn't half bad. You know, a lot of people didn't like it because it was, like, too much of a departure from the toys in the show. And I actually thought it was better than the show, <laughs> for sure. Much, much better. So let's take a look at this. I guess this is another head. This is like angry He-Man. <laughs> uh, what's the difference here? Yep, that's what it is. One of them's angry. One of them's like, you know, one of them's angry. One of them's like stoic. But uh, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try putting on the angry head. Let's see. I, I never like taking these things off. I always feel like I'm gonna break it. You know. There we go. Yeah, you know, actually this head looks a little bit smaller to me. I don't know, do you notice that? Like, look at the jaw. Like, I think I actually like the other face better. I'm gonna put the other head back on. But yeah, just to, just to kind of compare those guys. Like, one is like larger than the other one. I, I wonder why. I wonder why they gave us two heads. I mean, it doesn't really make much sense to me, but whatever, you know. I'm happy to get it, regardless. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the OG head on there. 
That looks much better to me. Anyway, let's see. Let's look at the uh, weapons. So he's got a knife here. I'm guessing this goes back in the... Uh, put that in the sheath back there. Yep, fits right back in the sheath. He's got another little dagger. Okay, and that can fit right there. Very nice. Pretty cool. Got this laser pistol. And that can fit right in the holster at the side. Damn, He-Man is armed to the freaking teeth here. <laughs> Check that out. Very, very, very cool. So let's just set him right there for now. Actually, let's put the let's put the gun in his hand. You know. It's even got a little trigger finger. <laughs> so. Dun, dun, dun. This is really great. This is like making me feel like I'm like 10 years old again. <laughs> Seriously. Let's see. Let's also open up Dark Despot Skeletor here. <laughs> I think for now, I'm going to keep Commander Karg and then God Skeletor in the boxes. Let's open up this guy. Alright. Dun, dun, dun. Destroying my investments, but I don't care. Okay, let's just take a minute to admire this first. Look at that. Look at that thing of beauty. Holy crap, that's just beautiful as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Look how hardcore that is, man. Look at the... Dude, just look at the... I don't know. Okay, let's, let's get him out of the plastic. All right, so let's see. He's got... There's a figure with the Havoc staff. Very cool. Wow, this is, like, heavy. Damn. They, like, they didn't cheap out on this thing. This is really... All right. Can you stand up, Skeletor? Can you do that for me? It's a little back heavy, actually. Having some trouble staying on your feet there, Skeletor. All right here, I'm just gonna lean him up here for a second. What else we got? We got his sword, Skeletor sword. Check that out. Check out the uh, little bat thing going. It's like a little skull with uh, bats on it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And he's got a cosmic key. Hmm, cosmic key doesn't really move. There's nothing on the cosmic key, but there's a little strap. Okay So that's just all straight-up plastic, but still look at that thing look at the look at the detailing on that. It's like damn They really went all out on this all right Okay, let's take a look at this staff here. Take a look at this havoc staff Look at that thing Damn, there's like all these little bones and... Come on, focus. Okay. Little lines and bones and everything in it. And pistons and all that. That thing's hardcore. And let's take a look at the sculpting on this guy. Wow, look at that face. Holy, holy moly. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with this figure. This is hardcore. Really cool. It's like, this is all nice and hard, like, like plastic, you know, rubbery plastic. Not that I don't mind cloth on figures, but I much rather have it be molded, you know, molded rubber, molded plastic, right? Like if they made this cloth or something, it just wouldn't be the same. Um, looks like the, the shoulder pads kind of limit the articulation a little bit. You know, it doesn't go up all the way, like you can't get his arm all the way up there, but still that's close enough you know I think as long as he can hold the uh, staff with two hands I'll be happy <laughs> so that was one thing that I never liked about the old figures was that they couldn't hold weapons that were two-handed with two hands you know spears staffs things like that especially since he would do like this sort of position in the show right that it always made me mad that the old school five and a half figures couldn't do something like this. And that's like, wow, that's hardcore right there, man. Look at that. That's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in a little bit on there. You know. 
Look how, look how beautiful that is. It's like, damn. Anyway, I am very, very happy with these. I think I'll leave the other two in the packages for now. I am extremely happy with these right now. And I think it's kind of sad that this is probably it. This is going to be the last of the classics figures that we're going to see. Probably ever, you know. Um, I know that uh, they've pretty much gone through every character they can. <laughs> where they even started making like filmation figures and stuff. You know, like some of those I didn't buy, but... You know, just looking at the back of this box here, you know, they started making filmation figures, you know, Katrina, <laughs> stuff like that. It's like, who who even is that? Who knows? She was like in one episode of the old show, Stratos and Roboto and that kind of thing. And, you know, not that those weren't bad or anything. I mean, they were cool, but I like these better. I like the classics versions, you know, Masters of the Universe classics. Is That's really, that's where it was at. And it's really kind of sad to see that this is the end you know, no more of those. Um, unless it, for some reason, comes back to Maddie Collector, which it always could, who knows, you know, maybe one day they'll do, like, one-offs, or they'll do, like, a special release of something or other. But it, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Now, the good news is that Mattel is making new He-Man toys, like, all new, brand new He-Man toys, right? And they're gonna be the, um, five and a half size and they're going to look like the old toys from the 80s but they're going to have modern articulation that looks badass that looks awesome i am like really happy to see that too um they already released some like uh sort of mashup like wrestler ones which i thought was a weird choice but you know i'm not complaining i'm probably going to buy all of those too you know the uh um, what was it, uh, WWE of the Universe or some shit, <laughs> right? Those are already out there. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be like the same bodies as those, right? So I'm, I'm really, really stoked to see that coming, you know, that we're going to get even more really cool He-Man stuff by the end of this year. You know, it just kind of saddens me, you know, saddens me to see that this line, this line is over with now. Because this was, in my opinion, probably the best action figure line in the last 20 years, if not ever made. Seriously, like, Masters in the Universe classics are the best figures ever. <laughs> they're like, the, the quality is consistently good. They look awesome. The figures are, you know, the figures are always really great. And there's a very small amount of losers in the line you know there's really like two or three that i can list off where it didn't work out too well things like the sorceress with her wings like that kind of thing that's pretty much it pretty much all of them are worth buying you know and uh they came out really good and it's really kind of sad to see them go but it's good to know that we're going to have more cool stuff coming in the future so anyway these right now the pre-order and all that you know they've been shipped and i know you can get them on the secondary market and they're probably already going to be, like, really expensive. Um, they have them at Big Bad Toy Store as of this video right now. So if you want to get them, now's the time because they're going to be worth all kinds of ridiculous money. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's all I got. Adios.